Today's episode is another exciting edition of What is in the Box? I am just as excited to see what's in the box as I am sure you are. But I also think that, you know, this is a gorgeous day out here. We're in mid-December in Ohio and it's warm. The sun is shining. You know, being from Ohio and in this nice warm weather, I don't know how to handle it sometimes. You know, that's one of those stereotypes with people from Ohio. We can't handle the heat. But you know, there are stereotypes about all of our states, you know, and some of them have some very iconic character to them. Because I know if I lived in Maine, you know, I would have one of those big wooden fishing boats and I'd have those yellow rain coveralls and probably a lobster in my hand. If I was from Texas, I'd have a cowboy hat and spurs and I would drive this big F-350 that had this gigantic chrome bumper on the back of it. Or I could be from California and have that long flowing blonde hair and washboard abs and I'd have my, my surfboard on top of my firewood truck everywhere I went. Iconic character of our many states here in this great country. But you know, when I think about it, there's probably not another state out there that has that iconic personality more than Ohio, right? Because in Ohio, we have You know, Ohio, you know, we are famous for our... Well, accents, you know, there's like that Western accent, the Southern accent, you know, and in Ohio, I mean, listen to the way that we talk. I guess that is probably what makes Ohio special is that uh, it's kind of... <laughs> It's kind of normal out here, you know? Chances are your newscaster in your hometown sounds like they're from Ohio. It's just the state where it's, you know, you know, uh, special. But I will say this about people from Ohio. If you do need advice on a good pair of muck boots, ask someone from Ohio. If you need advice on what kind of mulch to put around your yard, ask a Buckeye. If you need help with your coupons, there's never been a coupon that's gotten past anyone from Ohio. It's just the way we are. I think people from Ohio are a very practical sort. Uh, you don't see very many Maseratis in Ohio. You know, you see a lot of F-150s, you see a lot of the iconic Ford Taurus. A very practical group of people. So that gets to what is in the box. And guys, it is none other than the iconic Logox Forestry Multi-Tool. Guys, I've been, I've been really curious about these. I've seen them and I've seen them at work. I think it spoke to the Ohio in me. You know, we're practical. I just didn't know how to take this. You know, is it a gimmick? Uh, is it like the Ronco in the egg scrambler? Which has never been sold in Ohio, mind you. And I thought, what the heck, there's only one way to find out. So uh, this is a three-in-one tool. This is the, uh, the, the, the part that where you can pick up logs with it. It also has a handle that you can add and this, you know, then it becomes um, like a PV. And then the last part is a timber jack where you can pick the log up off the ground so your chainsaw isn't uh, hitting, hitting the dirt. So I thought for today's episode, guys, I have a number of logs I gotta get cut up. And I thought, what a better opportunity than uh, this to try out this log ox and we'll see how it goes. I'll let you guys know and you guys can judge for yourself. All right, guys, here we go. On the menu, guys, I have this pile that's been sitting out here since the summer. It has gotten really soft and I haven't been driving my tractor in here. And my thought is I'm just gonna buck these up with my chainsaw. We're gonna go old school on this and we'll get all of these stacked. I'll probably bring out the super splitter or maybe even move the axis out here after the ground freezes and I'll be able to get all these split up right where they set. 
All right, so I think what I'm gonna be doing now, I'm gonna get out my chainsaw and the log ox and let's go to work. Let's see how this thing goes. First things, there was some cutting that took place out here at my last live stream. So there are some logs that still have to get moved. So, oh wow, this is cool. <laughs> I didn't have to bend over to pick this up. Okay, I immediately, um, <laughs> that was nice. I have this theory about firewood that nothing good happens from here down and you know, bending down to pick something right up off the ground, you know, that gets to you after a while. And this, uh, yeah, this is nice. I'm digging it. I really even haven't got a chance to use that thing, guys, and I have immediately figured out that, that thing's cool. And, I mean, how many rounds of firewood have we all picked up off the ground? And think of all the extra wear and tear, you know, on your back and your hips and your knees. Um, it's got my attention already, and we really haven't even gotten started yet. I I don't know how you guys are. I have this thing. I don't put my earmuffs on until I look inside. I'm always worried of there being a spider or something inside there. That would, ugh. My tool of choice today, guys, is the iconic Husqvarna 346 XP. It is like a laser beam. You just point it at the tree and it falls down. Great saw. What I really like about it, it's got a 16 inch bar. Makes measuring my cuts easy. Bam, 16 inch. Next tool that the log ox is, is a camp hook. So let's set this up right now. It's just pins and cotter pins. And, and now we're set up to roll some logs here, guys. And then the last thing it is, guys, is a timber jack. And this is an important tool here, especially if you're someone like me who's always running his chain into the ground. Let's see how this works. Hey, look at that.
them digging the timber jack, guys. This is uh, that's a big help, you know. Uh, getting that wood off the ground, you're not getting your tip into the dirt, hitting a rock. Uh, I think you got to be careful when you're coming down, you know, not that you don't nick it with your saw. So what I've started doing is I'll make my top cuts. I go about three quarters through, and then I roll it over and um, you know cut cut the rest of the way through that way. I got a lot of cutting done and I'm gonna move all these rounds out of the way and you know um, right off the bat guys the first thing I noticed this thing's pretty when I mean heavy I don't mean you know heavy I mean it's built tough man this isn't some cheap um, uh, a cheap tool this is this is pretty neat and I think what also is appealing about the log ox is like with most things, you know, you like to feel a connection with it. And yeah, you know, this is made in the United States. A small family, a small business success story. You know, this is a female owned company, the Roberts family. And it was dreamed up and, and first manufactured in a garage. And look at it now, you know, it's got a worldwide reputation. You can buy it anywhere. And, you know, it's it's not a gimmick, it's for real. This isn't the Ronco vacuum uh, hair trimmer. <laughs> this is for real. And when you think about, you know, what forestry tools cost, um, I think the price really is pretty reasonable. And I have a feeling that this would be one of these tools that you pass down to generation to generation. You know, this isn't something that you're gonna replace every other, every other year. I think the tool changes pretty easy. I would probably paint my pins orange and the cotter pins, you know, spray paint them orange in case you drop it, you'd be easier to find it. But, um, you know, it, it goes in between tools pretty, pretty easy. So now I have it set up as a cant hook. I'm just going to roll this log down and we'll get this bucked up. Okay, looking good. So this is a pretty sizable tree, and I think uh, this is a good opportunity to bring out the Dolmar, guys. Let's cut this up and have some fun. When I need help with the big logs, guys, all I have is a Dolmar 7900. Greatest saw in the history of the universe. So I will go ahead and just mark these off in 16 inches. And I hope to make quick work of this. This looks to be a maple log. And it's been out here for a while. So the sooner I get this cut up, the better off I guess we'll all be. Some of these maples, when they get big, they rot out from the inside. And you can wind up wasting wood. And then also they can bring in a lot of ants, which I was fighting with this summer. But the way the weather's been out here in Ohio, these ants might be coming back to life here. So let's get this thing fired up and let's get busy cutting some big logs. You may want to stand back.
And this is where the can hook comes into big play here, guys. We can get this log rolled so I can cut the other side through. Having the right tool for the job is a big deal. Having a big saw is a big help. Let's see how the log ox handles big rounds to pick them up. Oh yeah, it works guys. I've noticed too when I pick it up, man it bites and it sinks in there good. I don't feel like it's going to fall out at all. So the three tools, you know, they all work. The timber jack, the, uh, the cant hook, and man, what I really like is, is how it can you know, just carry the logs. It really works great. And it's, uh, it's a back saver too, guys. I really do think that if you're out in the woods a lot with a chainsaw, uh, this could be the tool to have, guys. It really works. Uh, there's a lot that uh, it's got going for it. And you know, with most things, it's that story about a family-owned business where um, you know it was it was invented in a garage and and look at it now you know it's just really cool to have something like this innovation and made in the United States uh, right here at Ohio Woodburner. And I'm also thinking, guys, that you know this might be the time we're coming into the holiday season, and uh, this is a time to get one of these and get it put under the Christmas tree. For viewers of Ohio Woodburner, I'm going to provide a coupon code. If you're from Ohio, give me a thumbs up. We know what we think of coupons. We'll put it in the description down below too on how you can purchase a log ox and um, you know, make this something special for a present to uh, someone who's out in the woods a lot cutting firewood. And there you go, guys. The log ox three-in-one forestry multi-tool. I, uh, you know, this thing's a home run. And I have been uh, saying this for a while, you know, but there isn't much innovation that goes on anymore. Everyone just pretty much copies everyone else's idea and puts different paint on it. But here is an exception for you, the Log Ox, guys. This is innovative. It, it works. It's um, fully functional. I got three different tools in one, and man, it's built heavy. This tool um, can be passed down from generation to generation. I really do think if you are out in the woods with a chainsaw, this is probably the way to go. It even comes with like a, a belt carrier, but you know, here we are again. I'm from Ohio. I only wear belts to hold my pants up. So, um, but you know, that is an option for you there as well. That's all for now, guys, from the wood yard. If you're liking the log ox, give me a thumbs up and you know, check out their website. I want to thank everyone for watching the video today and I hope everyone has a great day.